Now we will make a workflow that will show a user form. We create a subfolder called WF1 into JPDL folder. Into this we create a new workflow definition called Forms Workflow. This process will create two files, one with extension JPDL and the other with extension GPD. We configure workflow graphic information with the file extension GPD. Now we configure the workflow deployment URL and the user for doing it. Start with adding a start node, then an end node and a task node. The task node will need human intervention to complete the form. We link the boxes with transactions. After we have saved the workflow, a JPEG image file is created. We must configure it in deployment view. Now we create a forms.xml file which will contain the form definition. It's important the file is called forms.xml. In the XML we define a task node with some name and into this task node we define the form elements. In this case the task node is called get data. We select the task node and create a new task called Get Data. We establish the relationship between the task node and Get Data, defining in the forms .xml. We must indicate which user is assigned to this task. In this case, we select the actor type and the user OKM admin. There are other possible types that will be covered in future videos.
Now we can start OpenKM. We deploy the application and must remember that in deployment must be included the file forms .xml. Now we can see the workflow definition deployed. We execute a workflow and in the bottom we have a blinking icon indicating that we have a pending workflow task. Now we can see the form. The workflow has stopped in the task node waiting for human intervention. Now we must introduce the data in the form. We can see that the workflow has now finished.